All right, it's uh, Max Reynolds here with Team ARG, and do we, who do we have here? <laughs> who do we have here? Uh, Jeff Jones. And what did you do this past weekend? Uh, I managed to get top eight at YCS Niagara. Hmm. And what were you playing? I was playing Danger World FTK. And why did you decide to play that? Well, you see, I really enjoy the Danger cards, and uh, so, uh, uh, Cannon Soldier FTK is nothing new. No one just came up with that recently. Uh, and uh, so people were trying to use, like, make rank sevens and make Tomahawk uh, to go into uh, Summon Sorceress and bring out Cannon Soldier from your deck. And I was pretty sure that you could just do that way easier to FTK your opponent. And so I sat there for like a day thinking of ways to use Armageddon Knight, which is like the best one card ever right now. And uh, then I kind of figured it out where Armageddon Knight was a stay. Armageddon Knight or Grepper is basically a one card FTK. So, and uh, combined with the danger cards, it was really cool. I don't normally play decks like this, but I thought it was like too good of a thing to pass up. So. All right, well, now that the format is over, let's see what your, uh, your deck is. <laughs> All right, so we have, of course, <clears throat> uh, three Armageddon Knight, uh, three Dark Grapper, uh, three Destiny Hero Malicious. Uh, <clears throat> those are for the Warriors. We have uh, two Grappa, uh, three Beige, and three Snow. Three Brow? Oh yeah, Brow, not, not Beige, Beige sucks. Uh, so normally, you don't really want to see this too often. This card's fine. Uh, these are just like upstart goblin whenever you discard them off dangers. And these just get you another card that you're able to discard from your hand or search for Grappa. So you can continue with your FTK. Uh, I, I think these are the only ones you need. I don't think you need any other ones. Uh, for the danger cards, there are two Dogman. I mean, this effect is bad, but it's level seven. Uh, so you also bring it off a of summon sorceress so you can uh, make tomahawk. Uh, three danger, Suchinoko. Uh, so this card's effect doesn't seem like it is outstanding, but the fact this card is always like kind of a for sure thing, you're either always getting a monster to your board, uh, it's another card that always puts a monster on your board or and lets you uh, get like the draw one effect. Uh, so there's like really no downside effect with it and it, you can always use it. Uh, so this card is actually probably one of the best ones and people just like don't run, no, don't know that. Um, also it's level three, so you can like make levier with it, which is kind of important. You'll see that later. Uh, three danger, Jackalope, three danger, Chubacabra, three danger, Nessie, three danger, Mothman. And that is it for the danger cards. I don't use Bigfoot or uh, Thunderbird. Uh, you don't really need those for this. Uh, Danger Bigfoot is definitely the worst out of all of them. Uh, destroying face-up cards really isn't that relevant right now. And Danger Thunderbird is a much, uh, <laughs> it's much better than him. Uh, destroying face-down cards is a lot easier and better to do to clear through back, back rows. Um, and then we have, of course, Cannon Soldier, uh, Ibli, we have Phantom Knight, so we have one Phantom Knight Ancient Cloak, and three Phantom Knight Silent Boots, and we have two stuff that can, well, they can be used for combos, but because I messed up at one point, I really couldn't. Uh, these are like just good link cards, uh, Black Wing Zephyros and Black Wing Steam Cloak. And then the part where I messed up was uh, at one point in the tournament I got a game loss because I forgot to write a card by deck list and it was Destrudo. Uh, so I couldn't use Destrudo. Uh, but it wasn't it wasn't my deck list. You don't need that to do your combo, right? Uh, not my version. I figured out, so uh, my friend Marjanko, I let him uh, use the deck also. And in my original version, I used Mare Mare because there's another combo you can do with just giving your opponent Ibli and then using Destrudo to make Yazi and pop it and get Mare Mare and make a bunch of tokens. Uh, but I figured out a way to do it without doing that. And so I cut the Mare Mare from my deck. Uh, and at that point, uh, Destrudo was just there for like an extra link card 
and to make the FA Synchro Monster in case I got hand trapped. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, for uh, spells, we have the equip cards. I used five of them. We have Living Fossil, Overland Burial, Phoenix Blade, DDR, Autonomous Action Unit. This card's actually just broken in this deck. It's like almost as good. It's almost good enough to like warrant playing more, but just I guess there's really no reason to. Um, and uh, I'm using five because you always want to send four off of uh, as old to summon over again. Uh, then we have uh, Foolish Burial, Rhoda, Card Destruction, uh, World Legacy Succession. This card is amazing. I really want to use more of this card because if at any point you get hand trapped on your Armageddon Knight or something uh, you just make any link monster and reborn Armageddon Knight and you just continue to combo and they can't do anything I'm fairly sure that I should probably use two of this card uh, monster born soul charge uh, three lower darkness and the only trap cards were the phantom knight brigadine okay. uh, for the extra deck we have uh, Link Krebo, Nightmare Mermaid, Nightmare Cerberus, Two Phoenix, uh, Roploticus, Proxy Dragon, Zold, Summon Sorceress, Nightmare Unicorn, Firewall Dragon, <laughs> uh, Gumblar, uh, what a duo. Yeah, uh, Levier, Tomahawk, and the FA, uh, which I ne could never play because I had to uh, take out the Studio from my deck. Uh, mm -hmm. So, those are all pretty self explanatory, I feel like. Except for maybe Levy Air, but I'm going to show that. Uh, so, I guess I'll do my side deck and then I'll show like, kind of like the basic idea of the combo. Uh, so, then we have my side deck with Shredal Dragon. Um, against Floodgates, you can just use Armageddon or Greffer to dump it and pop something. Uh, two of this Dino Mist guy, which I never really sided in, uh, except for against Ultra Guys, I guess. Uh, three Ghost Reaper. Uh, and three sphere mode for against Goki, which is theoretically this deck's worst matchup. Uh, but I was able to beat the ones I played. Uh, I was pretty fortunate though. Um, three twin twister and three impermanence. Uh, so the basic idea or combo of the deck is that if you open up a Gremonite, Armageddon Knight or Grepper, uh, in almost any combination of hand where you just don't have all equip spells you should be able to otk or ftk your opponent and uh so basically that comes with if you have armageddon knight all right i'm gonna sort all this out again This is going to be all clumps, so this is stupid. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> all you need is basically Armageddon Knight and monsters. And since the entire deck is just basically monsters or ways to get to monsters, every hand just does that. So, I mean, if you just flip over, like, Armageddon Knight with, like, all right, so, like, that's that's the FTK. Like, what a game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, that's the FTK, too. Like, just. I think it was only four cards. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, because it's kind of four armor. Plus yeah, armor. Like any hand with like uh, when you draw when you draw Ibli. So like, the only time you can't FTK is if you draw multiple equips and Ibli, and even then you still can because you can usually get into Tomahawk a certain way, and then you can just keep going. Um, when you draw Ibli, it makes it a little more awkward because it takes away a monster from you that you normally need. So you just have to have like an extra monster. Um, but, uh, like, basically what you just do is after that, you summon Armageddon Knight, you dump the Malicious, banish, summon Malicious. Uh, summon is old, dump your equip cards. Uh, summon another Armageddon Knight from your deck. Uh, send uh, Ancient Cloak to Grave. Uh, summon the last Malicious. Make summon sorcerers. Uh, use her effect to summon uh, silent boots from deck. 
Uh, banish the Ancient Cloak from Grave to grab another Silent Boots. Uh, special X. Um, banish Armageddon Knight and uh, the last Malicious from Grave to add back Phoenix Blade. Uh, then with these two, you make the Levier, which brings back the Armageddon Knight that you just banished. Uh, then you send, uh, if you already have one of the pieces in your hand, like a Dark World, a Grapple, or a Cannon Soldier, you send whatever one you don't have. Most of the time you just send Cannon Soldier first. Uh, then you just do like the regular like Firewall Link shenanigans. Also, I don't know why that's not a Levier. <laughs> but, uh, so then you just make Phoenix. Firewall. Uh, Boots adds this trap card to your hand. Uh, and then if you don't have a mon I mean, you should have monsters, like, always, so you can just, like, special summon this. Uh, use the effect, use the effect, summon another monster from your hand. You'll summon Ibley, and uh, you'll draw a card. And you'll probably have another monster out. You link. Uh, for Cerberus, they'll get an Ibley. Uh, you use Firewall Dragon again to summon from your hand. Uh, and then basically, you get to a point where uh, you add back. So they'll add back like double Armageddon Knight and it's like you'll link for Privacy Dragon and uh, like the cannon soldier, and then you just like link away, to, like special link away. Unicorn? Uh, not a unicorn. Uh, for like for Plotticus and like summon Armageddon Knight to dump uh, whatever piece you don't have, then uh, like link away again for unicorn. Uh, I never had to do this because you just always have enough monsters, but if you don't, then you, uh, for some reason, you can summon Unicorn as the last one, like Chain Link 1, uh, Firewall to Special from hand, Chain Link 2, Unicorn to bounce your Firewall back to your deck. So then you'll like return this and draw a card. This will summon the other arm again and uh, you'll send the last piece to Grave, and then you just end up making Firewall again, which will add because uh, you have Cannon Soldier in your hand right now. Uh, you'll add back the other Dark World, and then you have all the pieces you need to activate your opponent. So, um, yeah, so you can draw hands. You'll find the same things, too. All you need is Armageddon Knight and Monsters, and your opponent, or Greffer, I guess. Armageddon or Greffer, and your opponent has zero life points. What a game. What a game. We've done it. <laughs> Alright, uh, are there any shoutouts you would like to give? Uh, shoutouts to ARG, Monster, our sponsors. Um, again, all that stuff I can never remember, but you do. Gamer Inc. Gamer Inc. Otidian. All that stuff. And uh, shout out to Max for helping me get all the cards in time. Uh, and other than that... Oh, shout out to Dirk for <laughs> driving to the event, I guess. Uh, I guess getting second, but <laughs> getting second is no good. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for watching and subscribe for more content. <laughs>